thank you for being patient as we bring all of our students in, all 540 wonderful young Americans here today to celebrate Veterans Day with our honored guests, our veterans, who are seated on my right and on my left. Thank you, boys and girls, for showing our veterans the respect they so well, des they so well deserve here as we celebrate Veterans Day with them. We're so pleased that they're here to celebrate with us. And I know it means a lot to them to see you as young Americans and as uh, students who will grow up and take the reins of leading our country, both in the armed services and in our communities. At this time, I'd like to ask the Newark High School Junior ROTC to please present the colors. change in our program, we're going to move to the national anthem at this time.
Thank you, you may be seated. Wonderful job, boys and girls. As Mayor Hall said when he was up here leading you, wow, that's a great sound to hear, your young voices reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. It's very important to all of us in the room today. And a special thank you to Mayor Hall for being here today to lead us in the pledge. Uh, Mayor Hall is a loyal supporter of Legend Elementary and Newark City Schools. And as he knows, and I know, and most of you know, strong schools make a strong community. And we appreciate our partnership with him. As you may have noticed, we have something special kind of in the middle of our front area. It is called America's White Table. And it comes from a book that our students have been reading this month. It's called America's White Table by Margot East Raven. And it talks about the significance of a table set for a veteran that does not return. And we have some of our fifth grade students who are going to let you, tell you a little bit about the symbols that are on the table. Is to show when soldiers will leave battle. Lemon slices for a soldier's bitter fate. <laughs> the grains of salt is for the tears of family waiting for loved ones to return. <laughs> the empty chair is for the missing soldiers. The black napkin is for the sorrow of captivity. The overturned glass is for the meals that won't be eaten. The white candle is for peace. The red rose with the red ribbon is for the hope that all our missing soldiers will return someday. Thank you, boys and girls. Stay where you are for just a moment. I'd like to uh, recognize one of the veterans uh, who is here with us today that brought to us uh, the idea of the America's White Table, which we've used for probably six or eight years here at, here at Legend Elementary. After the assembly, the White Table is moved to our front lobby and stays for the month of November with the uh, flags of the different branches of the service. That person is Mr. Will Ristler, who has uh, been on a committee with me and various people here at school, including uh, Celeste, who plan our assemblies, who plan our classroom visits, and he's been a big instrumental part in making Veterans Day understandable and full of meaning for our students, so I thank him. And thank you students for the great job. Before we do, a very precious moment that we always add into our program, I'd also like to recognize another book that Legend Elementary has just added to their school library, and he's one of our guest veterans today. Where is Bernie Schwartz? Bernie, can you stand up? 
Where's Bernie at? Help me out, I got my reading glasses on, Bernie. Thank you. There we go. And Bernie and I shared the office fair down at the Lincoln County Library last Saturday. And that was an honor to be there with you, Bernie. Bernie has written this wonderful book. He has also illustrated every page. It's called Who is a Veteran? How many students here have seen this book or read it already? All right. And what Bernie wanted to do, he wanted to create a book that not only would teach children to read, but it would also teach all of us who a veteran really is. So in my mind, this is a book for all ages, parents and grandparents and, and everybody in addition to students. Bernie is a United States Air Force veteran. He, uh, he was involved in Desert Storm and Desert Shield, if you have ever heard of that before. And if you're looking for the book, it is available right here in the School Library of Legend Elementary. Now before we begin our medley, first of all, individually, we would like to recognize and applaud all of our veterans from the United States Navy. Let's hear it for those veterans. Lake Erie and in Toledo and I meet a lot of Coast Guard veterans. I'm not sure if we have any here today, but if you are there and let's recognize them, the United States Coast Guard. And the United States Army. And we're going to play a medley of all of your themes. And of course, if, if our students even know some of the words, please sing along with us. And we ask you to stand during your theme, or those who cannot stand, we can stand for you. How does that sound? Skip. Trust 
to win a victory. Stand her for us and our guides. I pledge a medal to We're always ready to forge that life. So start this fight for you. I'm going to ask Mayor Hall, please, to return to the podium. Junior ROTC cadets are performing a flag folding ceremony for us here. There's a very special way that flags are folded, boys and girls, and you're going to have a front row seat to that right now. I ask that James R. Cooper join us up front here, please. <coughs> the 
Yeah, we've got a couple James R. Coopers here, so. <laughs> Whereas United States Marine veteran James R. Cooper is being honored on Monday, November 11th, 2019 at a Veterans Day celebration at Legend Elementary in Newark, Ohio. To commemorate the occasion, the Newark High School Reserve Officers Training Corps, obviously known as the Junior ROTC, will present an American flag to Mr. Cooper during a flag folding ceremony in recognition of his selfless service to our country. James R. Cooper is a Newark native and Newark High School graduate. During his senior year of high school, the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor and the United States entered World War II. He joined the United States Marine Corps in 1942 and ultimately earned a commission as a second lieutenant. He continued his training at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune in Jacksonville, North Carolina and other Marine Corps installations while his country was fully engaged in World War II. At the conclusion of the war, James was honorably discharged in 1946 and returned home to finish his college education at Miami University of Ohio. James was employed by the Lincoln County Common Pleas Court as a court reporter for nearly 40 years. James is an active veteran supporter and has participated in many fundraisers to support veterans in need. He's a member of the American Legion Post 85 and AMVETS. James always greets fellow Marines with the word Semper Fi, short for Semper Fidelis, the Marine Corps motto which means always faithful. Now, therefore, I, Jeff Hall, Mayor of the Great City of Newark, do hereby proclaim November 11th, 2019, as veteran James R. Cooper Day in Newark, Ohio, in recognition of his sacrifice and service to our country. Thank you. Now, just one more thing, and just a, a huge thank you and congratulations to all the staff, Mrs. Cooper, Celeste, of course, all the students here. You are doing an outstanding job. Thank you for recognizing Veterans Day in our community, and thank you to all the veterans here that made all this possible. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mother. Thank you, Mayor Paul. We appreciate your attendance here. We're going to move into our next musical selection called Thank You, Soldiers.
would we be able to use that song as our school song? And the rest is history because it officially became an anthem for Legend Elementary. And then a couple of years later, I re-recorded it, came into the school, and actually some of the, third, the fifth graders here were, I think, were you guys in second or third grade, I believe? And they became the backup choir for the new recorded version. And inside some gift packages that we have for all of our guest veterans today, please note that you have a copy of your own of Where the Eagles Fly. And we're going to perform it live for you right here today. I hope that you enjoy it, along with the fifth grade choir. We're combining this with uh, my audio and uh, the teacher's videos so that you can also see the uh, lyrics up on the screen.
left on our program today. Uh, we have gift envelopes for all of our veterans and I have uh, some volunteers on either side that will be circulating uh, and make sure, I know we have some veterans even scattered in our uh, seating towards the rear, be sure that you get one of these envelopes before you leave. Thank you Mrs. Johnson and I think we have uh, Mrs. Conklin perhaps over, oh Mrs. Mathis, you can go right ahead and start passing those out. And while those are being distributed, teachers, we have one more finale song left. I know on the program it indicates retiring the colors. And actually we had a little change in the program today. We didn't actually post the colors and retire the colors. We had the presentation of the colors. Our junior ROT students are in high demand today. So they were moving on to another school to be able to participate in their Veterans Day. Teachers, if you will please at this time pass the flags to your students for our final music selection. Students, hold on to those flags, keep them safe.